Okay, everyone, welcome back. So um, the last topic that we're talking about in this unit in Chapter 11 is a topic called quantiles. Now, a quantile is just a score that divides the data into particular quantities, and they can be different ones. And two we're going to look at are percentiles and deciles, or deciles. Deciles is what it's usually called. So what, do they, what does that mean? So a percentile is like it sounds, it has percentages in it. So basically it divides the group into percentages. So example, the 35th percentile, and we write that as P35, is the bottom 35% of the data. So you can see it's working from the bottom up, the start up. A decile divides the group into 10. So dec, decade, um, decimeter, dec in Latin means 10, so that's where the decile comes from. So, for example, the fourth decile is written as D4. It's the bottom four-tenths of the data. So, again, going from the bottom up. Now, to use this stuff, we're going to draw what's called a cumulative percentage ogive. Now, remember we did that back last term, so you should know what it is. Just a quick reminder. Look, it's a smooth curve graph, and it's going, and it always ends up up the top at the 100%. So, we want to find the 57th percentile and the third decile from this distribution, which is a grouped data frequency table. So, where do we start? Well, the first thing we're going to do is redraw our tables like we have been. And we need our true class limits because we're working with grouped data. So in this case, you can see they've actually gone half a value below and half a value above. So 12 to 15, that's half below, that's half above. And we need to include all values. And you can see there's actually a gap of one between each um, class that's written there. So Half of what it's going to be is in the group below and half will be in the group below above, so all values are included there. Um, okay, then we've got our frequency column, which is literally just rewritten here. Our cumulative frequency, same as always, that's how it works. Um, just adding the totals to the previous total. Now the cumulative percentage shows you here how it's calculated and it's just the cumulative frequency over the total number of items and multiply it by 100% to turn it into a percentage. So that's how that one is calculated. Now, using this information to make a percentage ogive. So you're going to use the um, cumulative percentage column as well as the upper class limit. So that's what we're going to plot this, plot here. And cumulative percentage is what you see at the top of that class. So that's why we use the upper class limit. So the first one is 15.5 upper class limit and a cumulative percentage is 4.8. So let's have a look here. So you can see that would be at the 15.5 mark and this is where they've decided is the 4.8 mark. Let's see and see if that follows. So the next one is 20. Uh, sorry, 19.5 cumulative uh, upper class limit and 12% cumulative percentage. Let's see if that works. So 19.5 would be there and 12, I'd say that's about right, 12 for the next one. So you can see they're percent, um, plotting the cumulative percentages here. Now once you've plotted all of that, all you have to do to find um, the what are we asked for? The 57th percentile and the third decile is read it off the graph. So the third decile, because it's in tens, equals the 30th percentile. So they're going to be exactly the same. So you've just got to find the 57th percentile, which is around here. You can see where they've marked it, and you've got to find the 30th percentile. Go across and read it off the graph. And these, are, and you can see they've headed in a downwards direction to find out what the values are. So it's literally that easy. Um, you'll go to your turn to have a go at a couple of questions. If you have any questions, please see me in class. Goodbye.